Let's look at cross company code transactions in SAP Financial Accounting. Cross company code transaction means it involves two or more company codes in a single business transaction. Sometimes the word intercompany transactions also might be used for the same terminology. So this is quite simply put when one company pays on behalf of another it's a cross company code transaction. It can also be in a scenario when one company code buys on behalf of another or it sells on behalf of another. This might be buying on behalf of another might also be called central procurement. Selling on behalf of one behalf of another can also be called central sales. Buying and selling between each other. So if one company code sells to another company code, it's also considered a cross company code transaction. Now this must be all within the same group organization or within your organizational entities or subsidiary companies or sister companies or between parent company to a child company. This kind of scenario is only where you usually have the cross company code transaction. If you sell one item to a customer or if you buy one item from a vendor then it's not a cross company code transaction. Only if the company code is buying on behalf of the other company code then only it's considered a cross company code transaction. It applies for other scenarios as well like selling on behalf of another. So whenever you have two company codes in SAP interacting with each other then it's called a cross company code transaction. So in the system when a cross company code transaction happens a document is created for each company codes. So there will at least be two documents created whenever a cross company code transaction occurs. One for each company code. And these documents are linked by a cross company code transaction number. So there must be a link to identify the two different documents for each company code it is was between each other. So then the a document has been created called the cross company code transaction number. Now if you, the tax amount is not distributed among the company codes. It's always posted to the first company code. This means if company code A buys something on behalf of company code B, then company code A will pay the taxes, not company code B. Let's go through it again. Whenever you have a cross company code transactions, at least a document is created for each company code. And these documents are linked by a cross company code transaction number. The tax amount is paid by the first company. So the tax amount is not distributed between the two companies. However, you can distribute the expenses or revenues. You will understand in more detail in the next slide when you see a real example. Now we have two company codes. Company code ABC1, company code XYZ1, both in the same SAP system. Imagine this is the parent company and this is the subsidiary company. Now company code ABC1 bought from us. So ABC1 will pay the vendor on behalf of XYZ1 and the country tax rate is 20%. So let's look at the journal entries. The vendor will send an invoice for $1,200. That is $1,000 worth of goods plus 20% tax is $200, so $1,200. So that will be a credit amount for the vendor. For company code ABC1, you have expenses of $700. For company code XYZ1, you have expenses of $300. The tax amount is $200, which will be paid by company code ABC1. Now here you will be putting a cross company code transaction for XYZ1 of $300. And in this side you'll be putting your cross company code transaction for ABC1 credit of $300.